Yo, what is going on guys? Bob Blitz here. And today I'm going to be telling you guys a story about a teacher I had in elementary school. So, I could say it wasn't very bright. It's probably my least favorite teacher of all time, maybe tied with another teacher. So, in 3rd grade, I had this teacher and she for some reason just had a deep hatred for me. I have no idea why my best friend was in that class too if you're watching right now you know who you are but we both had that class right and she literally loved him to death like she was he was such a teacher's pet in that class and then for some reason she just I don't know why but she just had a big huge deep hatred for me I mean personally I don't know maybe I mean when I was a little younger I kind of did slack on work a little bit but I got back on track and stuff but still so I'm gonna be telling you guys the deep story about her today so this teacher probably not a great teacher so we had it this is the funny thing though half the year she had a, she was pregnant and she had a baby so half the, the first half of the year when we started we had a substitute teacher like half the whole the whole half of the year from August to December so Therefore, I didn't know who she was or anything, but then from January on to May, we had her. So, I mean, I was just like being all nice and stuff, and this is the like crazy thing. The first day she came in in January, she literally tried to force me and tell me my name. So, my name is Danny, right? She literally forced me and told, it was like, no, your name is Daniel. I was just like, because my name is actually like Danny, like birth name. And my name's not Daniel, it's just Danny, right? And she goes and says, yeah, your name's Daniel. And I was like, what? I was so astonished. Like, she was literally trying to tell me what my name was and my name wasn't. So I was like, okay, excuse me, I think there's something wrong here. So this teacher, so my uncle actually, for my birthday in about around February, he bought me this cool Lego book at Walmart. It had stickers and it had this cool, like, all these cool pages and stuff. I bring it to school because I liked it and it was like really cool. And I'd sometimes put stickers from the logo book on my year or what's it called agenda, right? Because it was really cool. So one day, because the class usually had like sticky notes and like these little containers that used to be on the desks, but for some reason that day they were on the ground. So I was going across the room to get a sticky note so I could hold my place because I was reading it and stuff. I would hold my place in the book, and this book I'd bring like a good time like a good bit to school so she already knew that I had that book so the thing is she literally screamed out Danny I want to burn that like I don't know exactly I can't remember word for word but I always remember this she literally screamed out what are you doing get your get in your seat I want to burn that book in my fireplace talking about my Lego book I was like oh shit dude like of course I didn't say I was in third grade but like come on dude what are you telling a third grader that you want to burn his Lego book in a fireplace what kind of teacher does that I literally was trying to explain myself she's like no sit down do you want me to like write you up or something I was like what like seriously how can a teacher be this bad okay so it's even worse so you know those like special things it looks connections in my school now and stuff but specials and stuff like the little like not the actual main classes you have in elementary school but like the side so like the side classes you have the end of the day or whatever you have it I don't know but like it's just like those side classes right so in the county I went to half of my year or whatever or half the um, my elementary school for some reason they literally had like all these you know like only like PE art and music is needed and stuff like that but this this place had math science art pe and like it was crazy but um anyways so the terrible thing is and um i'm pretty sure in fifth grade because i was still going to the same school we had the well the math specials teacher which i really liked she was taking a break off to be with her kids and stuff so shocker next year because she told us that in fourth grade so then in fifth grade it ends up that my third grade teacher ends up teaching the math specials so i literally have her each week in fifth grade too 
How terrible is that? Like, seriously, the teacher I absolutely had a humongous hatred for literally is teaching me again. So that was actually a huge nightmare for some reason. Like, even my classmates in fifth grade would talk to her and stuff. And, um, like, kind of, like, sort of hang out. I don't know. It was weird. But they all, sometimes they talk about me. And they, they came up back up to me telling how she doesn't like me. And I was like, what? It's a freaking teacher. Anyways, that has been um, a story about probably my worst teacher ever. I actually do have another teacher that I had in actually fifth grade that I want to talk about. But we'll save that topic for another day. But anyways, that has been the story about my um, terrible teacher. Boo, third grade teacher, guys. Seriously, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content if you're new. It's been your boy Baja Blitz, and um, yeah, just you know, screw them, terrible teachers, guys. Peace out.